Salutations to Param Pujya Madhaji, salutations to Param Pujya Swamiji, salutations to all Mahatmas, brothers and sisters. We all know that we have assembled here to intensely remember the inspiring life and mission of Parampujya Mataji, whose Jayanti is today, 119th Jayanti. However much we may say, we may think about Mataji, it is not enough. Because we are sitting here only because of her grace. Right from day one of this ashram, Mataji's only concern was to take care of the material and spiritual needs of visiting devotees. And she has been trying to make us aware that it can be harmoniously blended. But unfortunately, none of us took seriously. We were happy in her company, in the company of Papa. We were happy when Ramnam is being granted. But that universality, you know, the absence of otherness or the subservience to a higher power by the sense of individuality, that has never stuck to us. And Mataji was deeply pained that nobody took uh, the real advantage of being in a place where there, was, there is a harmonious blend of both the spiritual and material. The divide between spiritual and material was demolished as it were. And Papa and Mataji being free from all traditions, they were able to present it before us that it is possible for us to lead a simple life in his constant remembrance. But for Mataji, this ashram would not have come up at all. Today, we will read a few lines of what Papa said about Puja Mataji. Papa says, with her there is no tall talk, no lectures, only life lived out in the spirit of oneness. There is no sense of difference at all. Where will she sit? Huh? Chair, chair.
we are trying to travel with the words of Papa. With her, there is no tall talk, no lectures, only life lived out in the spirit of oneness. That means absence of otherness. What do you say in uh, uh, Telugu? Absence of otherness. Let them hear, you know. There is no sense of difference at all. Even among relations, you don't find such dealings. Even with the daughter and son, you don't get such dealings. They are also, there is some feeling of give and take. Mataji is blunt. Sorry, Papa is blunt in expressing. People talk about it long, big lecture. For long hours, they give provisions and all that. When you come to practical playing, you fail. Therefore, she may be called the embodiment of universal love and service in the truest sense. Universal love and service means, you know, it is not, it is not viewed from the level of sense of individuality. When it is viewed from the sense of individuality, differences will be there. You are there, I am there. Your body is different, my body is different. Your mind and intellect is different, my mind and intellect is different. But that which is behind the mind and intellect and the body, that is what Mataji was able to identify. You cannot imagine in what way her mental machinery is working. It is always working. Ramdas can imagine to some extent how to do good to others, how to serve somebody, how to relieve their distress. That is always occupying her mind. How to do good to others, how to serve somebody, how to relieve their distress. If she is not able to do as much as she feels she should, she is very unhappy. She is miserable. In fact, she has a heart that is made only to feel for others. She has a heart that is made only to feel for others. Hands only to give to others. Body to toil and serve others. Self-interest, selfishness, selfish views and ideas are totally absent. These are all the words of Papa. Compared to her, Ramdas is nothing. To tell you the truth, Ramdas is a talker. But she is the doer. Whom do you prefer? Doer or the talker? It is the truth. You cannot deny it. Ramdas does not want to unnecessarily belittle himself to show that he is a very humble person. That is not it. That is the fact. The entire truth. That is it. Although she called Ramdas Guru and all that, Ramdas can only say that the reverse is the truth. Nobody knows that. She does not want to make anybody know it. And if she hears Ramdas talking in this train, she will take objection. What are you talking? To that extent, she is selfless. To that extent, she is egoless. Ramdas can tell you, she came prepared for it. And in teaching Ramdas what true life is, she flowered, blossomed in what it is to lead a life beyond all duality. Live in the absolute impersonal reality and then look and move in the world. This lesson she came to teach Ramdas by practicing is it before him. Ramdas was having his own experiences but was clinging to certain forms. Forms means some form of life controlled by certain regulations, some rules, 
she came and broke all of them to pieces. She puts everything on Ramdas. That is the beauty of her life. She has got something on which she hangs on the ego. The ego you see is hanging on a peg, peg and that peg is here, referring to Papa. And she is without ego in working. She is the only one who has put it. Others have not done it. So many people can use this peg for hanging on their ego, which he will gradually sorrow, but nobody is prepared to do it. In between, a devotee asked Papa, what happened to the ego that is uh, 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 that has been hung in Papa's? So he said, Ramdas can sorrow it. She did it, she did it, and she got the highest benefit by it. That is a pure fact. She turned back on her worldly life, never looked back again. And when she looked back, if at all she did, it was all God for her. The world had disappeared, God stood before her. Attachment was dead, individuality gone. A clear cut definition of what is the absence of other. That means always chanting his name to remember that he is behind everything. Many of us did not know that she was she was riveted to the impersonal aspect. Later on we come to know intellectually that if we don't if we don't give importance for the impersonal aspect. We can never become universal. In her case, she was able to bring it. While experiencing the impersonal truth, she was also equally conscious of the personal aspect of God. That was, that was how it came out in the form of love and service. The simplest life will really she live. You know? Devotees who have built palace-like residence for her, but she remained in the tiny little room. Hardly any space, but in that space, she met all devotees. She heard their problems. And she was giving hints how to improve. At the same time, she was also very much with the administration of the ashram. <coughs> All silently, without any fuss. Nobody will know how she handles everything. Not because she wanted to make it secret. But it became known because there is absence of otherness. Everything came spontaneously. And whatever she did, stopped that's all. There have been many, many instances where Puja Swamiji had shared with us how she was able to blend this, you know. Outwardly nobody can understand if we don't apply our mind deeply. So today is a day for all of us to intensely remember. The message is absence. We have to scale. What is it that we have to scale? Today morning we took part in the flag hoisting. The hoisting of the flag symbolically represents the goal to be scaled by all of us. And she clearly mentioned what is the goal? Absence of otherness free from likes and dislikes, prejudices, biased views, attachment, aversions. <clears throat> that can come only when you be become one with everything. So we pray to Mataji now. Two messages you touched and kindled today. One is the absence of otherness. And in our journey to reach that state, 
we have to blend both the spiritual and material life. There is no separation. We have been thinking that there is a separation. You will find Mataji had never worn his ochre clothes. Even in the white dress, she was able to lead a detached life. So no, no traditions, no formalities, no barrier. Papa used to say, you know, God is there in entirety, in everybody. No matter what dress we use, no matter what type of life we live, He is there in His entirety. So she was able to blend both her concern for the spiritual progress, her concern for the material life security. So we try to understand this again and again by going through her works, the classic work, Guru's Grace, where in every chapter we will find this blending. She has not kept herself aloof from the active dynamic world. She has not kept herself aloof from the likes and dislikes. What is happening in and around us. But at the same time, she was able to maintain that universal aspect. Never from the individual plane. So these are the two hints. Today, she touches and kindles in us. We pray to her who is now in the form of remembrance. The moment we think about Puja Mataji, we saw her. We see her in that form. Pouring her blessings on us. Pouring her love on us. We are praying to her. Now that you are seated within, why don't you please direct us towards these two. Blending of the material and the spiritual and enabling us to move towards the absence of otherness. These are all the thoughts that welled up when we thought of sharing something about Puja Mataji. Hari Om. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Prayer for world peace. Sorry. A prayer for world peace. Here also again we would like to repeat. We have been religiously repeating this prayer prescribed by Mataji. Everything is prescribed by Mataji. To get ourselves connected to the core of our being. But unfortunately the prayer goes at the superficial level. Ritualistic level. Never is going down. So from today onward, we are praying to Mataji. Whenever you make us to pray this, kindly push us into this. Kindly facilitate for the percolation of this ideal into our mind. So that our thoughts, words and deeds will have some impact because of this prayer. Otherwise, it is simply a reading, you know, a ritual. At the end of uh, uh, Ramana, we do this. No. That is not what Mataji intended. So with that bhavana, we will go through this prayer. Adorable presence, Adorable presence. Thou who art within and without, Thou who art within and without. Above and below and all around, Above and below and all around. Thou who art interpenetrating, Thou who art interpenetrating. The very cells of our being. The very cells of our beings. Thou who art the eye of our eyes. Thou who art the eye of our eyes. The ear of our ears. The ear of our ears. The heart of our heart. The heart of our hearts. The life of our life. The life of our lives. And the soul of our soul. And the soul of our souls. Bless us, dear God. Bless us, dear God. To be aware of thy presence. To be aware of thy presence. Now and here. Now and here. Bless us, dear God. To be aware of thy presence. Now and here. How do we become aware? He has given. Some he has given. Eye of the eye. 
year of the year, heart of the heart. That which is making the heart to beat, that which is making the eye to see, that which is making the ear to hear, that which is interpenetrating the very sense of our being, the breath of our breath, that which is enabling us to breathe, to take in the oxygen and to purge out the excess of carbon dioxide, that one, I should remember now and here. May all of us be aware May all of, us be aware of thy presence, thy presence in, the in the east and the west, in the, east and the, west, west the north and the south. The north and the south. May peace and goodwill, May peace and goodwill abide among individuals, abide among individuals as, well as, communities and nations. as well as communities and nations. This is our earnest prayer. This is our earnest prayer. May peace be unto all. May peace be unto all. Om Taksat Om. Om Taksat Om. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Next prayer Mataji composed is a is a prayer to the all loving, indwelling and all pervading truth, which she named as Papa. And what for? Because she was a mother. She was. She wanted all the sufferings, all the negativity should go from the earth. She says, "O oh, beginningless and endless Parampuja Papa, O oh, beginningless and endless Parampuja Papa, you are all pervading. You are all pervading. You have manifested, you have manifested as the entire universe, as the entire universe. And, you reside in everything. and you reside in everything. We pray for your blessing, we pray for your blessing for the eradication of, for the eradication of all conflicts and fights, all conflicts and fights in all parts of the world, in all parts of the world, and for the bestowal of, and for the bestowal of peace and happiness, peace and happiness on one and all, on one and all within. And without, within and without. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. One more opportunity Mataji has provided us by making us to repeat the universal prayer composed by the Lord Papa. Here also we have to travel with the words, not merely the words, the theme. Otherwise, it is a ritualistic exercise. Lip level exercise. Mataji wanted every word of Papa's prayer to go deep within us. So with that bhavana we will read. None of you need repeat. But you travel with us with the theme. O Lord of the Universe, O Creator, Protector, Destroyer of the world, I come in all humility to thy holy feet and surrender myself entirely to Thee. Though we have not surrendered, now we feel guilty, you know. Though every day we, remember, we repeat this word, we have not surrendered entirely, or even partially we don't know. Only each one will know. Deem to bless me ever with Thy remembrance. O merciful Divine Master, give me strength Purity and peace. Thou art absolute power, omniscient, omnipresent. Thou art seated in the hearts of all. Thou art all purity, all goodness, and all doubt. Thou art a veritable ocean of peace and bliss. Thou art the lover of thy devotees. Refuge of the helpless, Redeemer and Saviour of those who resign themselves to Thee, make me dedicate my life mm -hmm. to Thee and to Thy service. By Thy grace, may peace and joy always dwell in my heart. The Word, Mother, Master, Friend and all to me, grant me the power Accept me as thy child and servant. Grant me the power to love thee with all my heart. Now one more. No? Every day we should remember this. That whatever we do, be a fitting offering at thy holy feet. 
whatever I do, right from the morning I get the pilgrim. Every day I am praying, you know, that whatever I do be a fitting offering at thy holy feet, make me pure in thought, word and deed. I lay my mind at thy feet, fill it always with thy remembrance. Let thy glorious light illumine my heart. O sustainer of the world, O kind and compassionate Lord, God of Gods, give me the divine vision so that I may behold thee in all as all. This is the absence of otherness. No? O kind and compassionate Lord, God of Gods, give me the divine vision so that I may behold thee in all, as all. Make me above feel the constant fellowship. May my life be guided and controlled by thee. <coughs> Thy presence be above with me, in me, everywhere around me. I beg of thee. I prostrate before thee. Hearken to this heartfelt prayer of mine. Make me thine and thine only, forever and ever. Make me thine and thine only, forever and ever. Make me thine and thine only, forever and ever. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Ram. Jay Jay Rama, Thank you.
Thank you. 
Yeah. 